Hi guys, in this part, we will show you how to fetch single department data from MySQL table and display in edit department form and then after we will learn how to edit or update existing department data by using Laravel Eloquent model under this Laravel Visitor Management System project. In previous part, we have already seen how to insert or add new department data with add or remove dynamic input field for add multiple contact person data in the single department under this Laravel visitor management system. Now for update existing department data, we will do following things. First we will create edit method for load edit department form in the browser with fill form field with single department data. After this we will create edit department form with display validation error. And after this we will fill that form fields with single department data. Next we will create another method for handle department edit form data submit request. After this we will set root for the newly created department controller class method. And lastly we will check edit department feature output in the browser. Now let's start discussing this topic. So here we can see that we have already made edit button. At the time of loading of department table data in the jQuery data table. So now we have go to department controller class and here we have to write public function edit method with dollar it is argument. Under this method we have to write dollar data variable is equal to department model class with find or fail method and under this method. We have to write $it variable, so this method will return single department data. Based on the value of $it variable, and here data has been stored under this $data variable. Now below this, we have to write return statement with view method with two argument. In the first argument, we have to write edit department.blade.php file. And in second argument, we have to write compact function with data as argument. So here, it will load edit department.blade file in the browser. And it will fetch single department data from this data variable and fill all form field with data. Now we have to open edit department.blade.php file. And here this file is completely blank. Now we have to open add department.blade.php file. And here, we have to copy whole code from this file and go to edit department.blade.php file. And here, we have to paste this code. Now here, we have to write edit department in place of add department. Now we have go to form action attribute, and here we have to write edit validation. In place of add validation, so this form will send request to edit validation method. Now we want to fill this department name field with data, so for this, here we have to write echo blade statement, and after this we have to write dollar data with department name variable. So this department name input field will be filled with department name table column data. After this we want to fill this contact person multiple input field with data, so here we have to write. First we want to write php script, so here in blade file, we have to write at the rate php directive. So under this directive, we can write php code, so here we have to write. Dollar contact person variable is equal to explode function with two argument. In first argument, we have to write comma selector, and in second argument, we have to write dollar data variable with contact person column name so it will convert string to an array now for fetch data from this an array we have to write at the rate for directive and under condition we have to write dollar i variable value is equal to zero dollar i variable value is less than the value of count function with dollar contact person variable and dollar i variable value is an increment by 1 so here our condition is ready now between this directive we have to create division tag with class is equal to row and margin top 2 
After this, we have to write id attribute is equal to person with echo blade statement. And after this, we have to write dollar id variable. So it will create dynamic id attribute value for this division tag. Under this division tag, we have to create two division tag. In the first division tag, we want to create text box field. So here we have to write input type is equal to text. After this, we have to write name attribute is equal to contact person and class is equal to form control class. After this, we have to write value attribute is equal to echo blade statement. And after this, we have to write dollar contact person with dollar it variable. Now in second division tag, we have to create add or remove input field button. So here we have to write add the rate if directive and under condition. We have to write dollar i variable value is equal to zero. So suppose this condition true. Then under this block, we have to write button tag with type is equal to button. And after this, we have to write name attribute is equal to add person and id attribute is equal to add person. After this, in button text, we have to write plus sign, so it will create add input field button. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute at the rate else directive block of code. And here we have to write button type is equal to button. After this, we have to write class attribute is equal to button button danger button small and remove person class. After this, we have to write data id attribute is equal to echo blade statement. And after this, we have to write dollar i variable. So here we have store dynamic value under this data id attribute. So this code will display multiple contact person data on the web page. Now here we have to create one input hidden field with name attribute is equal to hidden id. And after this, we have to write value attribute value is equal to echo blade statement. And after this, we have to write dollar data variable with it column name value. So here, we have store single department it column data under this hidden field. Next, we want to store total number of contact person value under hidden field. So here we have to write input type is equal to hidden and id attribute is equal to total contact person. Now under value attribute, we have to write echo blade statement and after this, we have to write dollar i variable. After this, in submit button, we have change value attribute value from add to edit. After here in jQuery code, we have to write dollar with hidden field it total contact person with value method. So here, we have store total contact person number under this count person variable. So when we have add new contact person, then this field variable value will be increment by one. So here, our edit form is ready with fill single department data. Now we have go to department controller class and here we have to create edit validation method. So for this, here we have to write edit validation function with dollar request variable as argument. Under this method, first we want to validate form data. So for this, here we have to write dollar request variable with validate method. This method will validate department data, which we have to define in an array format. So in an array first key, we have to write form field name like department name. And in value, we have to write validation rules. So here we have to write required. So after write this validation rule, here this field value must be required. After this, in array second key, we have to write form field contact person. And in the value, we have to write validation rules like required. So here also, this contact person field value must be required. So after define this validation rules, so if form data has been passed from this validation rules.
then only it will execute other code, otherwise it will display validation error on the web page. Now we want to edit or update department data, so for this first we have to store all form data in the local variable. So for this, here we have to write dollar data variable is equal to dollar request variable with all method, so it will store form data under this dollar data variable. Now we have to write dollar form data variable is equal to an array. In an array first key, we have to write department name, and in value, we have to write dollar data department name variable. After this, in an array second key, we have to write contact person, and in the value, we have to write implode function, with two argument, and in first argument, we have to write comma. And in second argument, we have to write dollar data contact person variable, so it will convert an array to string. So here we have stored form data in the dollar form data variable in an array format. Now we want to edit or update single department data. So here we have to write department class with where it method and under this method we have to write dollar data hidden it variable and after this we have to write update method. And under this method we have to write dollar form data variable so this code will update department data in the MySQL table. And after updating of department data, we want to redirect web page to the list of department data with success message. So for this, here we have to write return statement with redirect method. And under this method, we have to write department, so it will redirect to web page to department controller class index method. And after this, for display success message, here we have to with method with two argument. And in first argument, we have to write success variable name, and in second argument, we have to write message like department data updated, so this method will be display this message on the web page. So here, department edit or update code is ready, now we want to set root for this edit or edit validation method. So for this, we have go to web.php file, and under this file, here we have to write root class with get method with two argument and in first argument we have to write department slash edit slash it variable and in second argument we have to write department controller class and edit method and after this we have to write name method and under this method we have to write edit so this code will set root for the edit method, and now we want to set root for edit validation method. So for this, here we have to write root class with post method, with two argument. So here in the first argument, we have to write department slash edit validation. And in second argument, we have to write department controller class and edit validation method. After this, we have to write name method, and under this method, we have to write department.edit validation, so it will set root for the edit validation method. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends here, we can see edit button, in each row of department data, and now for edit this row department data. So here we have to click on edit button, and after click on edit button, here we can see that. Edit department form has been loaded in the browser, with fill department data. So here we can see department name field, and multiple contact person field, has been filled with data. And here, we can also add or remove contact person details, by click on add or remove button. So suppose, we want to add one more contact person, under this department, so we have to click on the add button. And after click on the add button, here we can see that blank contact person input text box has been added. Now we have to enter contact person name, so here we have one more contact person, now for edit data. We have to click on edit button, and after click on the edit button, here department data has been edited. And page has been redirect to department page, and on the page, we can see success message, and here also. We can see that, one more contact person details has been added, after update of department data. So in this part, we have learned, how to edit or update existing department data, with feature like.
add or remove dynamically generated input field using Laravel framework. Under this visitor management system, and in next part we will discuss how to delete or remove single department data from MySQL table with feature like asking confirmation before deleting of data. Under this Laravel visitor management system project, so we will be meet in next part. Thank you for watching this tutorial.